Once you have finished all of your editing, it is now time to deliver your finished movie. There are several ways this can be done in Pinnacle Studio. Make sure that you select the tab marked Make Movie. This screen shows us that we can now deliver our movie in several different formats. On the left, we have four choices. Disc, File, Tape, and Web. First, let's explore delivering our movie on a disc. From the pull-down menu, we have many different disc types. AVC HD, Blu-ray Disc, HD DVD, DVD, SVCD, and VCD. If you have a CD burner in your computer and would like to export your movie on a CD, I recommend you use SVCD or VCD. A VCD disc will hold about 60 minutes of video and is half the quality of a DVD. An SVCD disc will hold about 20 minutes of video and it's two-thirds the quality of a DVD. If you have a DVD burner in your computer, then you can use AVCHD, HD DVD, and DVD to create your disc. AVCHD will give you about 40 minutes of full quality on a single layer DVD. HD DVD will give you about 24 minutes of full quality on a single layer DVD. DVD will give you about 60 minutes of full quality on a single layer DVD. If you have an HD DVD burner, then you can select HD DVD. Or if you have a Blu-ray burner in your computer, then you can select Blu-ray disc. We are going to create a DVD. I want you to see these two circles. This shows the disc usage. The top circle shows the hard drive space that is required to make our movie. We are looking at our C drive. It shows us our free space, use space, and the size of our movie. If there is not enough room on your computer, you can always choose another drive and folder by selecting this folder. This will open up the browse window and now you can select a new folder or hard drive location for the movie. I'm going to leave this destination alone and select cancel. The bottom circle estimates how much of your movie will occupy the disc. The E drive is our DVD burner and shows that we have 4.7 gigabytes to work with on a single sided blank DVD. We see the available space, how much our movie will use, and the quality of the video. Video quality can be changed by selecting this drop down menu. We have automatic quality, best quality, most video on disc, and custom. Notice when I select most video on disc, my available space will go up on the disc and my quality will go down. Select settings and this will open up our options. We can change our audio compression. I recommend keeping the Dolby Digital 2 channel for our DVD, which is a nice small standard file. These are the burn options. The first one will create the content and burn your disc. The next one will just create your content only. And this last one will allow you to burn a disc from content you have already created in Pinnacle Studio. This is our media and device burner options. These general options are nice and helpful. The first one will play a sound when our movie is finished. And the second one will shut down your computer when your movie is finished burning or exporting. This is a great feature if you do not want your computer to be running all night. Once all of your settings are complete, you just select OK and you are creating your disc. I'm going to select Cancel. Now select File. From the pull-down menu, we have several options to choose from. We can create an audio-only file of our movie. Select the preset to choose an MP3 or a WAV file. Next is an AVI file, which is a video file that is widely supported. Under Presets, I can choose to create a standard definition file for my Nintendo Wii. This is a new feature in Pinnacle Studio. Now select DivX. DivX is an MPEG-4 video compression and under Presets, you will see Sony PS3 and Microsoft Xbox. The SD stands for Standard Definition. Pinnacle Studio is a must for anyone who has a gaming console. Flash Video will create an FLV file that can be used on the internet. And if I open my Presets, you will also see Nintendo Wii. The iPod Compatible is an MPEG-4 file that has three different sizes to choose from for your mobile device. MOV will create your movie as a QuickTime file. MPEG-1 is the compression used on video CDs, and MPEG-2 is used to create a DVD file or a high-definition file. MPEG-2TS creates an AVCHD file or a Sony PS3 high-definition file. MPEG-4 is similar to MPEG-2 in quality, but with greater compression. Real Media is used to create a file to be played over the internet. Sony PSP Compatible creates an MPEG-4 file for your mobile gaming device. Windows Media will create a streaming video for the internet and also a high definition file for your Microsoft Xbox. And our last file is 3GP. This creates a small MPEG-4 file for a mobile phone that is 3GP compatible. 
Pinnacle Studio offers many file options to deliver your final movie. Remember, you can also select Create Between Markers. This option only exports part of your movie and is a great new feature. I also want you to take a look at this circle. This tells us about our C drive, what is free, used, and the size of our movie. Remember, if I click on this folder, I can select a new drive or a new folder to export my movie to. Our next export option is tape. We can select export our video back to our camera through our FireWire cable or select analog video out, which will use the Pinnacle Movie Box. The Movie Box will play our movie out analog using composite or S-video cables to a television or a video recorder. Finally, select the web as an option. We can choose between Yahoo Video and YouTube. Pinnacle Studio will upload the finished movie from the timeline directly into your account. Pinnacle Studio also has a new best quality preset for YouTube. This will allow you to upload your videos in high quality to the internet. As you can see, Pinnacle Studio has many options for you to deliver and share your final movie with friends and family. The choice is yours.